transport AC circuits. Up to now, what are we saw? That is only for DC. Uh, DC is not for them. Basic DC theorems for them. RF network DC is very big. It is very beautiful. It is very beautiful. It is very beautiful. So, we have to do AC circuits. Usually, if you have a network, you can see the network. Like, if you have a network, you can see the resistor. You can see the resistor series. You can see the connection. You can see the parallel. The impedance of the calculation of the path of inductor and capacitor and resistance We can calculate the series of impedance and admittance We can see the AC in the first place But if you look at the AC in the first place, you have to keep one thing If you have any problems, you can ask the questions directly You have to think logically If you have two elements of the series, you can ask the questions in the theory They will test your brain whether it is working or not, that's the question, right? So you have to let your brain to think and you have to find. Question is very tough for you, you can do it, but you can trace the character. First of all, first we will see the difference between AC and DC. First of all, DC, you have to keep one thing. Frequency is zero. Now my question, any one of you, right? Why is the DC frequency zero? You can identify it. You can answer what you want to do, you can explain it. In the comment section, you can see the video in the description If you want to explain the correct or the exact reason, I will explain it So in DC, usually frequency is zero Correct In DC, we can pass a system and pass a value to pass a value Output is simply going to the product of input and the system What I mean is, a 5 ampere voltage टू ग्रे वो एक कंट्रोल रूल है ना वो पास करना होगी ना फाइव इनटू टू टेन एम पी आउटपुट लाऊं तो अगर ना सिंपल है अगर तो वैल्यू में एसी वाले ना वापस आऊं तो इधर हम ये एसी आये थे ना बिना ये एसी ना वो पास करो ये एसी आप देखेंगे ना अल्टरनेटिंग करेंगे यू हाउ टू कीप सम साइंस वाल इनका पाई अपनी नजर दो इनिशियल फेस एंगल राइट इनिशियल आधे वो योर एंगल अंदर एक्जिस्ट है इनका अपनी नजर इनपुट एंगल आधे मरी में ये अपनी नजर एम्पलीट्यूड आर मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ़ दिस साइंस अंदर सिग्नल राइट सो लेट मी पास इट थ्रू अ सिस्टम इफ़ अ सिस्टम वाले अंदर पास कर रहा हूँ Let me generally represent it by B into sin of omega t plus phi out. Clear? So what is the conclusion? AC signal is going to be the opposite of AC signal is going to be the opposite of AC signal. This is the eigen function. Why it is called eigen function? The eigen function is the meaning of the one signal is going to be the input system. The output is going to be the output signal value without changing. Frequency marama exists such a vina that is called eigen function. If you observe what is the frequency of the input side omega, what is the frequency of the output same omega. There is no changes. But see then if you observe the phase shifting that is phase angle and the magnitude that will be different. That will change our one. But yaad change our one other vina sign with the frequency. If the function thermo apne exists such a vina that is called eigen function. And the function order magnitude change our one other the phase angle change our one. So, AC analysis, you can solve the entire problem with the two different ways. That is the magnitude and the phase. Upon the magnitude and the phase, what are the changes that you can see? Usually, you can see the magnitude of the input. That is, the magnitude of the input signal is the magnitude of the input signal. A is the magnitude of the input signal. In the system, you can see the two quantities. One is, magnitude of the input signal will be represented by mod H. This is the phase angle. Phase angle of H. Right? Then, what are the output? A into magnitude of the system is separate. That is why phase angle output we have to calculate. You have to consider two things. Phase angle offered by the input that is called input phase angle plus plus phase angle offered by the system that is called H. So, if you have to do this, you have to substitute the output. So, that is the difference between input and the output signal. Right? So, if the value simply calculate, you have to keep attention to the frequency. What is the difference between AC and DC? अपने ये एसी लर फ्रीक्वेंसी करिया जाए, 
DC ni ngah absorb punya ni na, sorry, DC ni frekuensi kerja tu, AC ni ngah absorb punya ni na, frekuensi same orang tu, yang ada pun different dah orang, magnitude, output magnitude yang orang tu, that is the product of input magnitude and system magnitude, whereas output phase angle is going to be the input phase angle and the system phase angle, right? So that is the difference between AC and this DC. In the next lecture, we will see what kind of properties actually begin of AC circuits. Otherwise, clear that you will be able to solve all problems. So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you.